So, for this application of a piecewise function, then for this given, a bus fare is 25 pesos for the first 4 kilometers and additional 6 pesos for every kilometer over the proposed fare. Then make a piecewise function in terms of distance traveled more than 4 kilometers. Then what will be the fare? If the distance traveled is 10 kilometers, so for this problem, we have these two conditions. So for the first 4 kilometers, so distance is greater than 0, but less than or equal to 4. So this is the first 4 kilometers, and the fare is 25 pesos. Then the other condition, over 4 kilometers or more than 4 kilometers, so the distance is greater than 4. So there is an additional charge, that's 6 pesos. So if the distance traveled is 7 minus 4, so this is 3 and 3 times this additional charge, that's 6 plus the regular fare, that's 25 pesos. So this is now the equation. If the distance traveled more than 4 kilometers, then to simplify, so multiply. So this one is 6D, negative 4 times 6, negative 24 plus 25. Then we have now 6 times the distance negative 24 plus 25, so this is plus 1. So this is now the equation for the distance traveled more than 4 kilometers. So to make now a piecewise function, so we have the fare in terms of distance traveled. Then this is uh, 25 pesos. If the distance traveled is greater than 0, but less than or equal to 4, then for this condition, 6 times the distance plus 1, if the distance traveled is greater than 4, so we have now our piecewise function. Then to find the total fare if the distance traveled is 10 kilometers, so since 10 is greater than 4, so using this formula, so we have 6 times 10 plus 1, so this is equal to 60 plus 1, so therefore the total fare for 10 kilometers is 61 pesos. Then for this problem, so a room costs 6,000 pesos and intended for 9 persons, then additional charge of 400 pesos per head for more than the limit. So take note that the limit is only 9 persons. Then to make a piecewise function, in terms of number of persons, then how much you need to pay for 15 persons. So for this problem, we also have two conditions. So for this intended for 9 persons, so therefore, the number of persons is greater than 0 but less than or equal to 9, then the cost is 6,000 pesos. Then there is an additional charge if more than the limit, and the limit is 9 persons. So if the number of persons is greater than 9, so therefore, if there are 10 persons minus 9 times the additional charge, that's 400 plus the regular cost, that's 6,000 pesos. So this is now the equation.
if the number of persons is more than 9, then to simplify, so multiply, this one is 400p, then this one is negative 3,600, then plus 6,000, then we have 400p, this negative 3,600 plus 6,000, so this is positive 2,400. So this is now the equation if the number of persons more than 9 then to make now a piecewise function so we have the cos in terms of person so the cos is 6000 pesos if the number of person is greater than 0 but less than or equal to 9 then we also have this formula for the cost. That's 400p plus 2,400 if the number of person is greater than 9. So this is now the piecewise function. Then to answer this problem, so how much you need to pay for 15 persons? So this becomes... 400 times 15 plus 2,400. Then for this 400 times 15, then plus 2,400. So therefore, you need to pay 8,400 pesos for 15 persons. Then for this problem, so the cost of catering service is 120 per head for 15 persons or less, then 100 pesos per head for more than 15 to 50, and 90 pesos per head for more than 50. Then we need to make a piecewise function that represents C in terms of number of person, then how much you need to pay for 35 persons. So for this problem, we have these three conditions. So this 14 persons or less. So we have the number of persons is greater than 0, but less than or equal to 15. So the cost is 120 per head. So this is 120 times the number of persons. Then the second condition, more than 15 to 50. So we have P is greater than 15 but less than or equal to 50 so the rate is 100 per head so this is 100 times P and the last condition for more than 50 so if P is greater than 50 then the rate that's 90 per person or 90 per head so to construct now a piecewise function represent C in terms of number of person. So we have these three conditions. So that's 120 per head if the number of persons is greater than 0 but less than or equal to 15. Then also this 100 per head if the number of persons is greater than 15 but less than or equal to 50 then the last one 90 per person or 90 per head if the number of persons is greater than 50 so this is now the piecewise function for this problem then to find the cost for 35 persons so since 35 belongs to this condition greater than 15 but less than 50 so therefore using this equation so that's 100 times 35 so therefore the cost for 35 persons is 3,500 pesos